All right, now, this plane is the Spectre Alpha. It's, uh, it has retractable landing gear, an air tank, right there. It also has two afterburner, uh, I mean, an afterburner right here. And the landing gear can retract. Like, uh, so, yeah. I, the reason this is called Spectre Alpha is because it's based off Jason Murrell's design, which is spec, which is the Spectre found in his book Wargami. Yeah, it's uh, not that complex. It's actually folded from an eight and a half by eleven inch sheet of printer paper. So, yeah. So, I'm going to be showing you how to fold this. So, to start, just get get a sheet of paper. You fold it in half. This is a, I like to call this a six flap water bomb base. You fold this down like that. Fold this corner down. Now simply just since I reverse fold along those two flaps. Do that with the other side too. Alright, the next step is fold this. Like that. And fold. Fold this back like that. look like that and flip it over and do the same thing on this side all right you're gonna fold it in half And you see how you have, this should be creased pretty well. All right, you see how you have that line right here? You're gonna fold to that point. All right, now you're gonna take this and fold it like that. Fold this back over. And fold this top in.
All right, should look like that. Unfold that. Unfold that. And to get the two other flaps of the water bomb base, you're gonna uh, go inside here and fold this over. And then it should look like this. So, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna crease along these lines. <clears throat> And crease along the other side. Too. There we go. Now your plane looks like this. All right, you're gonna take this layer and. Take this layer, right, this layer right here, and you're going to sort of squash fold it. So you're gonna sort of squash fold it. And now you're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. It looks like this, and after that, you can just close that up. And fold those four flaps out. All right, now it should look like this. It's a water bomb base, but if you fold these two over, you have these two extra flaps, and it has the split in the middle. All right. This, the reason we had to do that is to create this front strut. See, this layer is, this front strut is pretty thick. All right. Now what you wanna do is you're gonna take this layer, you're gonna take this and fold it down like that. Probably Fold that down like this is the same in the original Spectre. Unfold that. And fold this down. Crease. And it should look like that. Alright, you're gonna take this there. Fold it over. And 
And just like in the original Spectre, you're going to flip that over. Alright, now you're going to fold this flap up, and as you can see, it's going to create this pocket right here. So what you're going to do is crease, and once you get uh, past the center line, it's going to, you're going to crease into that pocket, and you're going to go straight, and you're going to go all the way there, and crease it. And then you flip it to the other side and and fold this up. Same thing. And fold this up like that. And and just like in the original Spectre, you're going to crimp fold these in. A lot of this plane is just the same as the original Spectre, so, yeah. And when it comes to flattening these, what I do is I pick up the paper and I... There is a crease from when you crease this. That's why you want to crease firmly on all of your creases. There's this crease right here. You are going to make sure it aligns. Like that. Then you can crease. And now you do that with the other side. And now you're gonna go ahead and keep this there. Fold it back like that. All right, now it looks like this. Just gonna flip it over. And you're gonna squash fold these flaps. Fold that layer over. Same thing with this side. Uh, there are a lot of things, a lot of things that can be made from uh, this base in particular. It's pretty versatile, just like with the original Spectrum Basin. There's a lot of things you can do with it, especially because you have these extra flaps right here. You could swivel them out and create wings that way instead of, of using these flaps. So anyway, you're going to fold this down. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, now you're going to fold this down, like that, fold this down, alright, now to create the iron tank, this is the same thing as in the original spectrum, you're going to fold this down, like that. You have these two cre these creases right here. You're gonna fold down on. Oh 
where this this flap intersects the crease. So you're gonna fold from here to the other side. You have this layer right here, this layer, intersecting this crease. You're gonna fold from this point to this to the other side where this flap intersects the crease. So you're gonna fold to that point. So, so you're gonna fold from these two points across. All right, now you just wanna crease the top. Do not crease anything else. All right, so you have this layer behind it. What you wanna do is crease this over so that this matches up on, on that layer. Like that. And then you unfold that and do the same thing on this side. And you fold this, these two in and sort of just push those down one more time so you grab it here fold that and these this is going to go up like that so you just fold that down all right now we can now we're gonna finish out the wings. We're gonna fold this like that. And now after we squash fold now we're gonna squash fold this flap. And here the wing formation is actually a little different. Instead of doing this into fourths, we only crease it in half. Cause they don't make the wing too thick. And you fold that down. But if you still want to make that into fourths, you can do. You can always do that. All right, you're gonna do that on the other side now too. When you squash fold this, what I do is I make sure that this intersection. Things on this side. All right, you fold this layer up. Then you fold this layer down. Now it should look like this. And if you flip it over, there are your wings. Now, you're gonna fold this layer up from this point all the way up to this point. And you fold it up like that. When you fold it up, make sure that this line, this edge right here, is is perpendicular to the center crease. Alright. Now you're going to fold this up. And now you can see why this needs an eight and a half by eleven sheet. If this wasn't an uh, eight and a half square, we wouldn't have this layer and this layer. So the the eight, the extra sheet the extra sheet of paper actually just makes the landing gear. All right, you're gonna fold this layer up and this layer. Now you're going to fold this there. 
back down and you're gonna make sure that this this fold it'll land this this edge it's gonna land this edge right here this edge on the bottom layer on the bottom line and this edge should be straight on this edge all right the next thing you're gonna do is fold that back down and squash fold this this is just a we're gonna need this all right so you fold that back up and fold these two back and you have this right here i'm gonna go ahead and take this and fold it so that this lands perfect this will lay perfectly on top Okay, and your crease. And you're gonna go ahead and do that with the other side. Squash fold this. Fold this up. And now you fold this there. Alright, All right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold from this, where this intersects this edge, to this point. And now you pull that back down. And you pull this back down. I mean, just fold this up the same thing. Pull that back down. Fold those back. And it looks like this. You're going to flip it over and inside reverse fold it along the largest crease that you have. I should have mentioned that this these are going to become the tip. Tail fin, so and yeah. So you inside reverse fold this it back in along this crease. And it looks like that. So then you take this this there and you inside reverse fold it along the fourth crease that the fourth one we made of this last one so not the one that lands on top the no, rests on top and then you enter reverse fold on the third one we made and then it should look like this and it should look like this but we don't want this so what we do is we take this layer and slide it over this flap and slide it over like that and crease now you take this layer fold this down Should look like that now. Now you're gonna fold this down. Like this. So that you have a slight gap right there. And you can fold that down and off. But just don't make that that layer that this top right here too big crease the tail fin over and do the same thing on this side
All right, once again, you fold this back like that. Now you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Just fold that over. Like that. And crease the tail fin over. Alright. We're almost done. We just got to go ahead and fold this, these two layers in. And now we're gonna create the rear landing gear. We're gonna fold this over like that. And all right, now you have this flap, this crease. You're gonna fold it and you're gonna push it over and land that crease that you already have on the center line. And you fold back along the existing crease and fold this flap to the center line. Unfold that. And you inside reverse fold this. Same technique as in a lot of my planes, as in a few, a few of my planes. Oh, <coughs> uh, you're gonna open this out. You're gonna inside reverse fold this back out along that crease. And insert reverse fold it back in on the smallest crease. Now it looks like this. Alright. This flap is a little more challenging. It's basically the same process. So just do that. And now you're going to go ahead and unfold that and open this out and do the same thing. But you see that this layer is going to sort of do that, So that's, but that's fine. Do the same thing and then you, we go ahead and do this and one more. Push that inside. Fold that back down and go and s no wait. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is do repeat that process on this side. Alright, now what you're going to do is pull this flap down, and since this is so thick, uh, it, it, might be a prob it might be a problem, so you should just use something to crease it, and now you, well, this is just the jet fold.
you know what to do. Alright. Just simple. Alright, before we jet folded, just crease the wings over. Like that. Unfold. Alright, now you're going to go ahead and jet fold the model. Be careful because this, this, this entire, this flat, this uh, layer just tends to tear a lot. So be careful. Fold those two up. Fold the wings up. Go inside and fold this in. And fold and do it one more time. We just gotta finish up the model. Now we're gonna go inside here and inside reverse fold the landing gear down. And fold and do the same thing with this flap. All right, now you're gonna go ahead, take this and round off the air intake. And now you're going to take this there and inside reverse fold it down. There you go. Well, wait, to finish it off, to make the afterburner, just round that and your afterburner. And then you could just hold it there to keep it, to keep it be round, rounded like that. There you go. This is actually a pretty cool plane, in my opinion. It's like a combination of the Diamondback Alpha, the tight, the J16 on my channel, the Spectre, which is where it gets all of its geometry. This front strut is like the Titan from used Alex. So yeah, it's like a pretty cool hybrid. It's also made from an eight and a half sheet of paper, which I've not seen many jets like that. So uh yeah. Peace out. Okay, for real. See ya though. Okay, I don't know why you're still here. Bye.